Wayne Hills girls softball is bound to have a great season with their high expectations, team chemistry, and leadership on the team. The coaches and players are all excited to see how they do this year. They have become very close over their time spent together and have started the season with high hopes. We started off the season a little slow, but as we progressed, it, we definitely improved a lot. And we just had our first county game win against Kennedy the other day, so that was a good start to the county. Going into my senior year, I was a little nervous with the new coaching staff. We work hard and they taught us a lot and we, they help us improve on everything, but they're still here to make it fun. And that's what I like about having them three as our new coaches. Coming into the season with the new coaching staff, I was a little bit nervous because I didn't know what to expect. And obviously you always have to prove yourself to a coach every year, especially one that doesn't know you. But I think that this season, like the coaches really made it something special, especially for me as a senior. And you know, they came in with really positive attitudes, which I think kind of rubbed off on everyone else and enabled us to be more positive thinkers and not get down on ourselves as much. And it just really helps to have all three of them there as a unit because you have the mom, and then you have the one that picks everyone up, and then you have the head coach, so it really does lift us all up. The girls have been working hard together, and the captains notice their hard work and dedication. Also, something that our team, I think we really do really well, is that we never give up. Even if we're in the bottom of the sixth inning, and we have the odds stacked against us, and we're behind by a lot of runs, we're still at it with our bats, and we're still trying to get the win. We never give up on each other. When someone has an error, we always try to get their backs on the next play. And I think that's a good thing to have because you never want to give up on the game, especially when there's hope to win it. We've turned to our pitcher, Vicky Dinata, who's a freshman, and she's really helped the team throughout and improved a lot throughout the season. She's been a great asset to the team, and we also have Jenna McGuire, who's behind the plate, and she's on and off the field, offensively, defensively. She has great stats, and she's just been a great asset to the team. Uh, the other day we played West Milford and it was a tough loss, but right after that we played Kennedy and we came back for, with a nice win, 15-0, for our county game. Um, I mean, we lost a couple seniors last year. We lost our starting catcher and second baseman and pitcher, but I think we've our team in itself has really like... As a team, we want to improve a lot of different things, but I think all together we, all we want to do is win, whether it's a round of counties or a league game. We're always looking to improve from last year's record, and as a whole I think we just, something to improve on would be our mental errors and just finding a rhythm at the beginning of the game. I think the biggest leader on this team this year would be one of our captains, Ryan Ty, because, you know, as center fielder, like, she kind of controls most of the field, and if you're up or you're down, like, she's always there to pick us up, like, if I just have a bad at bat, or I just make a big mistake, like, she'll come over and just say, like, you got this, don't worry about it, and it just really helps because she has a lot of experience in the games. She gets along really well, like, we all have our own inside jokes, and, you know, the chemistry between us is really good on and off the field, so it really helps that, like, I'm playing with my friends rather than random strangers. Being on this softball team for four years now, this has probably been one of my favorite years because we have, it's such a fun environment. But today we have a Halloween party because it's halfway to Halloween, and it's just a lot of fun. Like, we might make mistakes out there, but we don't get down on ourselves. We're always there to pick each other up and make a joke out of it if it's something they do that is silly and stupid. This year has definitely been a lot of fun. We have a great group of girls who get along really well and we're always having fun with each other whether it's in practice or while we're in the locker room waiting to get the bus for a game. And one of the best things we've done so far is definitely when we had movie night at a teammate's house. We all just went after a long day when we had a game and we were able to just relax and take a step back from the game, just goof off and have fun with each other. And I think that's a really good thing to do to build team confidence and just bond with each other. Well, we all get along very well, both on and off the softball field. We're more like a family than a team. Like last night we had our pasta dinner and the people that worked at the restaurant came in and told us we had to be quiet and calm down or else we are going to have to leave. <laughs> I think it's really important that the team maintains the positive attitude that we have because that's so important. Even if like in practice you're goofing off a little, a little bit or just having fun, as long as you're working hard, I think having trust in each other and knowing your team really well gives you great team chemistry which transfers into the games and being able to play a really good game together. 
and I think that's just something that's really important to us and something that we do really well as a team. And we kind of just mold it as our own and it just works out really well and sad to see the seniors go next year but I feel like we're gonna really fit the mold again and just work as a team and a unit. I hope we keep the same chemistry next year even with the seniors like going. I hope we still all have that chemistry between all the players. With the high spirits of Wayne Hill softball, we can see how successful they will be this season. The seniors are upset to be leaving, but see lots of potential for the upcoming years for Wayne Hill softball.